Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are back with more Violet Evergarden. We are here today to actually conclude this journey with this beautiful, beautiful and heartwarming series that was Violet and that is Violet Evergarden. I still have a movie to watch, which I am pretty excited about. The special episode that lasted like a mini movie was brilliant as well it was called eternity and auto memory doll and i really really loved it even though i was not entirely satisfied with the conclusion for amy's story right because she was seeking to get freedom right to be free uh, and to make choices for herself who is she gonna marry right and it was all orchestrated by uh, the parents that took her in right it, it was basically in exchange for taylor to get to live a proper life as well i get it she made the sacrifice she sacrificed her freedom so that taylor can also be uh, taken care of and all of that but it ended up in a very bittersweet way but i have no doubt that they will connect each other and even though they didn't see each other at the ending of last movie they will when taylor grows older and becomes the delivery man of love just how she described benedict which was such an awesome way to put it right delivery man of love right because as a young girl when he appeared in front of her and gave her that letter right it was like all of her memories started coming back to her uh, about the time that she spent with Amy, her sister, man, so that made her really happy and loved, right? So that's why she said the living man of love. So Amy ended up marrying an aristocrat right after going to that old girl's school and uh, Violet basically changed her, changed her complete view, right? That even in that situation like that, having her life planned and all of that she can still find happiness right and be who she want to be but that's why i was kind of surprised that she still ended up like marrying somebody that was probably picked by by her parents right so yeah but in the end uh we saw that she, it's not like she's suffering she's still i guess happy but after getting the letter from tyler man that really 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 made all of her emotions come out right and the way she was screaming taylor's name and all of that it was simply beautiful man. but for for taylor her story was amazing and she has such a bright future in front of her working for uh, claudia hodgkin's postal office right as a delivery man uh, being the member of evergarden family the lady that took uh, in Violet at first, she's gonna take care of Tyler, so it ended up pretty nicely for her, which I'm glad about. So yeah, when it comes to this movie, uh, just like for this previous special episode, I have no idea what to expect, but I guess we are gonna get some story similar to this, and I have no doubt that we are in for cinematic read. I love how this show looks, it's absolutely stunning, like so many amazing shots man like it's literally insane so it's gonna be very pleasant for the eyes that's for sure and it's probably going to be another emotional roller coaster so yeah i will try to think that i'm ready for what's about to to come without further ado let's start the movie okay guys everything is set let us begin So, uh, I forgot, I don't even know if you guys told me, is the movie like the proper ending to the series? Is it like canonically related to the events from the story? I guess it is, just like the special episode. Both of these special episodes featured like the moments and the characters from the series as well. So, I guess it is. And judging by the watch order, so this is supposed to be like the finale finale of the series so i guess i answered my own question 
Steins Gate really had a movie that was good, right? But I preferred Steins Gate and Steins Gate Zero by far when compared to movie. Movie was quite solid, but not even close to the actual series. So lit up in this green color, it's like haunted house surrounded by darkness. Ooh. Wait a minute. This place seems familiar. Is this the house of the girl that her mom died? That was supposed to receive letters for 50 years. Or maybe not. Hmm. Let me go back real quick. I want to see that picture. So it's the girl that started speaking to that person right now. And there is her. Quite separated from them. And apparently... The older lady died. I wonder if they are sisters and that's her, their mom. But why is she not like near them on the picture? Oh, grandma, are these three generations? Grandma, mother and... Daughter. Yeah, the mom is probably very busy. And the picture of her young mother and grandma. Letters. Here we go. Great Wait. Are we going that far into the future? Is her grandma actually that girl? Oh my god, we are definitely in the future right now. Yeah, we are in the era of telephones. I knew that this house seems familiar, man. So I guess her mom is a doctor and that's why she was super busy, right? Daisy. Oh, she is very harsh on her. It's hurting her clearly. It sucks when you have to like explain yourself to the people you love, man. I can feel the mom's pain. She's a doctor, she is also saving people's lives. We are assuming that. But I'm pretty sure that's the case. Oh, she regrets it. This is the place where Violet was writing letters. And the grandma was speaking through the window. Anne. Yep. They're not there for showing us this part again, of course, man. So we are already past the era of the telephones, and judging by the timelines, Violet is supposed to be much, much older if we continue with this timeline. He's gonna go through all the birth dates. Even adults are all to complain sometimes. Fuck, man. And this is the birth of the mom that is reading the letter, right? <laughs> okay, what a way to start the movie. It's Violet. Whoa. That newspaper clipping got out.
I guess they built that radio tower that Gren Granny that Granny was talking about with Benetic. It's like Eiffel Tower. Exactly. She made peace between the nations. Yeah. Irma. We're getting all the references. Olivia and her father. And this is her room. She quit? What? Why do I have such a hard time accepting that Violet Evergarden? Wait, Violet quit when she was 18? And no news about her afterwards? I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, now we are diving into Violet's flashback. This guy was such a scumbag. Thankfully, we had a nice development when it comes to his character and him, his view on Violet. Be a person who embodies that name, yep. He was teaching her to be herself all the time. What is this? Is she receiving some honor or something? Some there is the badge for typewriting that she's gonna probably receive some like medals or ribbons for like making peace between the nations or something. Wait, Ilma? Is that Irma? Wait, she wrote a hymn for the navy, for the military? Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, it's in that script. Bro, how far Violet came, bro. I guess we are now back from where we started this movie you know let us hear look at this look at violet man i'm so happy and proud for her and of course the brush i'm a little bit sick so i'm sorry there is the gang is that i was behind him to the sea <laughs> Classic Iris man. And Violet is so humble as always. Mayor and Mayor's wife. I guess she got their attention as well with her writings and letters. She made peace between nations, she wrote a hymn. For the, to the sea. Ah, classic salute. Wife. I will travel anywhere to meet your request. <laughs> there we go. They're, they fell in love with that. The mayor himself recommended Violet. Festival of Thanksgiving. There is Princess Charlotte as well. She seems older there. Yeah, we are mentioning all these previous episodes that we saw. <laughs> she is always so blunt. But I have a feeling that this Meyer, that he will respect it. Yep. He's not a douchebag, you can tell. He knows her history. Yeah, it was tragic, but... She definitely helped a lot. She doesn't want to be a hero. 
I'm not a person who deserves praise. Yeah. We saw that at the end of anime, right? It's veiled that he, she changed completely about that and that she will never harm anyone again. And <laughs> Benedict always goes for Yakisoba. Is this the place where Mayor got her the brush? As his mom said, he will continue living forever in our hearts, right? Oh, there is Erika, I recognize her voice. Yo, look at her hair. It's different. It's been a while. Did she quit? Playwright assistant? Wait, for Irma? Oh no! To him? Nice! What was his name? Oh, something like I forgot. I mean, Olivia is his, was his daughter. I feel like that's perfect. Nice, she's actually pursuing her dream, man, and Violet inspired her to do that. So mean to Benedict. She's probably busy. <laughs> Well, yep, I was about to say we have to come to see that. You can tell how much she is happy. This is nice. I'm glad for Erika. If you work hard. Yeah, you cannot bring back that. A lot of work to do. She's not even <laughs> trying to enjoy the festival. She's a workaholic. And Violet is somebody that loves her job so much. And that literally helped her become a person that Mayor wanted her to become. Now she needs to fix her prosthetic arms. Or oil them up, probably, or something. All the set is fine for some reason, even though it's screwed up because she's literally without her arms. Oh, this is when they showed the signal and everything seemed over. And those fucking random bozos men started shooting. He's a bore. They show that scene again, bro. So yeah, even after the conclusion of the anime, it figures that he will, she will still think about all of this from time to time, man. Probably for the rest of her life. And the fact that he protected her from that blast at the end, man. Even though like he was already unable to move, like I don't even know how he did it. It's not how much he cared for her. Like his body moved on its own. Well, that's a long pause. I was about to move my mouse to see if it, it bugged, but I was patient. All of her thoughts about him on paper, on letters, whenever she thinks about him. Look at the way she is writing, the way she is speaking. She became so intelligent and emotionally intelligent. Mm. 
Damn, she's in her little room, man. Okay, so far, like, I still don't know the direction where we will be going with this movie. Oh, nice. He, he has a new motor, man, from the previous uh, movie, special episode. With Taylor. I hope we see Taylor as well. <laughs> Request for Violet, right? Looks like she's speaking to a client or someone. For the next three months. <laughs> Poor Iris. They clearly don't want her service. I mean, they want Violet. It's not like they don't want her. She's that popular. They show in you her voice definitely. <laughs> Look in the bed for her. Oh, she does? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, Katlia is also known as one of the best typewriters, ghostwriters as well. She was writing for Prince Damian when Violet was writing for Charlotte. Again, Gardarikis. Mayor's wife's party. No. <laughs> he just wants to play some tennis, man. He has hardworking people working for him. All because of that horrible machine. And we saw at the very beginning that that era is not distant right yeah that's how it goes man it can be cruel to some people but throughout the history many people lost their jobs with technological advancements yeah it doesn't necessarily have to close right you you have to adapt <laughs> That's a nice attitude to have. I respect that. <laughs> she will get no customers then. I have my own plans for the weekend, okay. Oh, he's playing with Benedict, right? Claudia. <laughs> Benedict has a good forehand, it seems. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it helps me get attention from girls. <laughs> He's using Violet as a mean to meet other girls. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't often have plans, right? Unrelated to her job. But maybe it is related to job, actually. Cover. Oh. She's visiting the grave. Mayor. Gonna be brother. Yep. What the timing, eh? Oh, for the mother! She died. She's leaving flowers every month, man. She's such a sweetheart. No! She's using it for that. Not by anyone else's orders. Exactly. She will never forget him. She's so sweet. Did she drop that? Hmm. He's gonna probably pick it up and return that to her when he sees her again. Oh, 
忘れるわ。No, no, 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 no. What the fuck? What is this place? Why does this low key sound like mayor? そうかよく知ってるね<笑>かしとかウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイウェイ Where we might be going with this movie, bro. I was not expecting that. She realizes that she lost her ribbon, but now I can't stop thinking, stop thinking about Mayor. They didn't ask specific doll, just like whoever picked up, I guess. Who's calling, though? It's somebody standing on the chair. It's a kid. Bro, I'm still bamboozled, bro. That looked like Mayor Gilbert. And that he's living on some, like, island far from here for whatever reason. And how would he even survive through that shit, man, that happened? Oh, it's the kid that called. Yeah, that was definitely him. He was looking at the flower violet. Man, this is wild. Look at him. Yuris, is this supposed to be hospital? Hide. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Violet under the bed. So why is he here? What is his condition? I read in my book story. <laughs> Oh, come on, bro. Don't deny him. Oh, he's gonna make him cry, bro. Three surgeries. Oh, it has to be something very serious then. Why is he so mean to his little brother? Oh, no. He's gonna be the one that discovers Violet. And now he saw him, bro, and he's yelling at him. That's such a lame excuse. Bro, they better not be preparing the field for this kid to have some sort of terminal illness and that he is about to write a letter for his younger brother that he can't face him because he doesn't want to break in front of him or whatever. Like I'm preparing myself for the absolute worst. Okay, it's clear that's the case. For three of them. <laughs> I hate this. Wait, after I'm gone, is he like really thinking about after him dying or like? God. And the fact that he's so calm about it. Ah. Bro. Violet will do it anyway, bro. 
It's not about the money. What a kid, bro. Does it have to be so fucking cruel? I bet she, she made up that right now. <laughs> but she's always so honest and she wants to be like very like professional and all of that but now she's letting her emotions emergency provision wait it's actually a thing <laughs> it sounds cool she doesn't get the thumbs up oh gosh Both of them. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> He wanted to talk about something else for a change. <laughs> Let me let those three threats for my emotions. <laughs> Father. Bro, is this Mary Gilbert again? Damn. That has to be him, bro. The fact that there is this kid requesting him to write a letter. Mm. He came here to return the ribbon to Violet. There she is, great timing again. What the actual fuck? Why did she act like that? Did she sense that he was about to do something? Oh, because he was about to grab his pocket, right? Wow. Her instincts are still intact. I don't know, man. Knowing like Violet Evergarden and the, the previous episode that I watched, if they reveal like that Mary Gilbert is alive and that they don't have Violet in him meeting. That would be too much. I would be pissed. Sorry? What did he say? He said to get rid of the boat we owned. No shot. Are they gonna give the boat to her? Or I guess his stuff? Might be junk, but to her, it's gonna be pure gold. That's nice of him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you don't have to report it back. In my limited pity concerned the protectiveness of me. <laughs> He is worried for her, and he is really like a father to her in a sense, right? Because I remember his letter that 
he was writing to his future daughter. He would really love to have a daughter, and he looks after Violet like a daughter. I mean, he's not making any like weird moves. Yeah, precisely. Yep, he definitely changed. That's why he's worried, but he can be he can rest assured. It's a good point. I hope it's a boy. <laughs> but he was writing a letter to his future daughter. Oh, she's gonna go through his stuff right now. He was crazy about. In fact, oh, but he's wearing something similar like that right now. Only thing I inherited from him. That's him, and there is Gilbert. Wow. He drew that on him to protect him from the heat, man. He cared for his brother. I'm not really botanist or knowledgeable about the flowers, I can't really tell. What, what, what is their surname? Like Bugen Willia or something? Damn, wow. Did we have family? Damn, he didn't like that. He picked him up. Damn. He was protecting his bro. I'll grow up to be like you. Damn. They had no chance. He feels responsible. Locolia and her bra. The, the shock on his face. But Leah was right. These two will be like a good cure for each other. Well, the blush, the happiness, and his subtle smile. Nice. Well, them two being on the ship will bring back some bad memories, right? Because there was that flashback when they were on a military boat and he was saying, oh, stop killing my people or something like that. She was all bloody. When they found her, I guess. Exactly. That is what is connecting you guys. He even apologizes to her. Bro. I need to, to, to learn how the fuck is he alive and how did he end up where he is. That has to be him. Oh. <laughs> like a freshly baked loaf of bread. Yeah, it, it can be like that for young kids when they have younger brothers or sisters being born. Because they need to take care of the baby, right? And they have to spend much more time with the baby. Wow. Mayor and his brother. <laughs> the 
She has the experience now. She is literally like, in a way, psychologist. Yeah, but mostly she is focused on emotions. Exactly. Very well said. He seems so happy. Three letters for bro, mom and dad. Yeah, look at her shaking, man. She's fighting back tears probably right now. She will do it, her first pinky promise. Bro, the flowers are withering. It's like they've been away representing his life. Your letters will warm the hearts of your parents and brother. She's leaving. Oh man, the change on his face. One more letter. ベッドの下で聞くことはできる間に伝えておく方が良いと思います。伝えることもできませんでしたが。取るに私に愛してるをくれた方で生きていらっしゃると信じております。わお。その人に少しは。What wow. love you means a little bit. Is Lucas his like, best friend? Okay. To with her? Oh my god. Jesus. So. Does he have a disease? That is like slowly like killing all the muscles and eventually you end up like having troubles breathing right like it's like you're slowly shutting down acl or something right and that's a very cruel disease and there is no cure for it apparently he's feeling very bad she ran for help so yeah look lucas is his, I guess, childhood best friend. Oh, he looks pretty rough. Is she speaking to nurse? Oh. Is that Lucas? ロランド、ザンギョウ嫌がるし、こんなに頑張ってんだから。副社長か。You <laughs> No fucking way that he will recognize Gilbert's handwriting. Ecarte, he knows the island as well. Get independence. Did Mayor Gilbert became like the prisoner of the war? 
Chachos. Oh gosh. You recognized his writing. We have no right to control her. Damn, bro. It's not like he's trying to control her. Don't do anything stupid, bro, if you fucking do something to Hodgins. Only way I know how to talk. Because he was always so rebellious because of his father, right? Oh shit, he will recognize his brother's writing. That's for sure. He wrote the letter for that kid. Are they gonna let, let Violet know? It is him. It looks so different with hair like that. <laughs> Say it already, or maybe it's the best to confirm it first. Oh my god, she she immediately knows. Gilberto <laughs> He's sitting on the roof. He probably told her about the letter. And they know the name of the island that was under Gardariki's, but it's independent now. Is Claudia going there? To that island? And she is not? She's going as well. She is panicking that she might see Mayor again. <laughs> of course, he's thinking about you. Also. Of course. Oh, this is the first time I saw her like this. Long journey. Of course, it has to be the letter. Those symbols are kind of cool, it's like, literally like, some language. Daisy! Uh, we are going back to the beginning of this movie? So it means again, in the future, right? To Leiden. To the town where Violet and the others are. That we are witnessing, I guess, her story. Yeah. Claudia Hodgins post office. Yeah, it's basically like a landmark now, like yeah. Tourist tourist spot. Museum. It is Balkan's <laughs> picture. All of them. I saw Roland as well. Oh my god, who is this granny? Is this somebody that I'm supposed to know? Please ask me, wait, is this Violet? No, it's not Violet. Look at the arms. It's a receptionist. Is it that girl that we see sometimes? She has like an orange hair more. It's probably the other one. Their outfit and the bag that they were carrying. Island of Ekarte, where Mayor is. Why did that one grab her attention? Is this the island? Is this the hymn that Violet wrote? It has to be the hymn to the sea. The kid who asked for a letter. <laughs> I bet it's him, bro. It seems like a very peaceful place. And I guess this is some sort of their like 
traditional thing that they're doing to like pray and cause those flower things that they made for their wishes to come true and no arm as well. Even those who didn't return. And that poor kid was hoping, right? Ah, shit. Yeah, they're from Gardarikis, I guess. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh my god, he learned that that was written by Violet. He will probably be so happy to, to know that she became a famous doll and that she's literally changing people's lives and making them happy. He's a super nice dude, of course everybody loves him. Uh, he's a teacher. They have to meet, bro, please let me meet. Be too cruel not to... They said that they are on their way there, it's a long journey, and she's supposed to write a letter while traveling there. Of course, we are going through, like, her thoughts right now, simulations, what will she say to him? There goes the letter, but that's signifying that... It's not good that she has to say something different. Maybe. I love you. Just like he said to her. Bro, they're here. They're on the island. See that light tower? もし... <laughs> あいつが今君は構わなくても。あいつがどうか。ここでは本当の名は名乗っていないらしい。He's hoping that everything turns out good. Okay, so I guess he wants to find out how Gilbert feels about all of this. And whether he's ready to face Violet or not. Will she go and look around or will she remain here to wait? Yeah, take a deep breath. Ah, <laughs> poor soul, bro. Like, imagine after everything that transpired, bro. The two of them end up together. I would never imagine that shit, man. The, the way the kid stopped. They keep, uh, aren't they gonna be like... It might be from Leiden. We hate those guys. Whose father are you? You look creepy because he has that suit. They thought that somebody might return from their families. <laughs> His reaction though. If someone's sister and she's still there, she's not exploring. Oh, she might reveal that she's from Leiden though. Because Violet is very open and honest, she won't bet an eye. She'll, she'll take it. Playing mantis? <laughs> nope. He's different. Oh. <laughs> Look at that way. That's such a priceless face to see on Violet. Now, this is way better than exploring, right? 
hearing the kids who are very honest, always right, talking about their beloved teacher. But it is slightly giving me the vibes of previous episode when Taylor and Amy were next to each other, like 10 meters away, and they didn't meet. Like, if they do somehow something like this here, oh, I would be so mad legit, bro. Claudia is very, very, like, cautious and he's taking his time. This guy probably told him, oh, here we go. The reader between the, between the best buddies, this is insane for him as well, bro. They were legit like best friends. You recognize that voice. Can't even imagine how this must feel. Shit. He's not expecting this. Gilberto. <laughs> Gilbert. And they have to be careful. That's the question that we all want answered. Hospital run by monastery. I still can't believe that he survived through that man. Oh, this, that's Dylan he noticed from the distance across the sea. そんなことはいい。バイオレットちゃんが。だったらなぜ。ファイヤーに来てやらなかったんだ。バイオレットちゃんは。ガノコはずっとお前を待って。私がガノコを不幸にしたんだ。ブロ。What are you talking about? Why Please, bro. You can't be serious, man. Does he think that? She will still like cling to him, like waiting for orders for him. And that he wants her to live freely, right? Her own life without him. He intends to stay here. Jesus, man. I had a feeling that something like this might happen. I'll return. Oh. So this really happened. Another flashback to the war. Yeah, I guess he sees her in a way like that she's he thinks that she's tool when she's with him. Because she's willing to do anything for, for him. She feel, he feels bad. All he wants is her to have her own free will. This is what has been eating him. This is why he doesn't want to do it. What will he tell Violet? So he will decide to tell the truth. 
Oh. This is so fucking brutal for her, man. After all this shit, finding out that he might be alive, finding out that he is alive, and that he can see her, man. That's a heartbreaking shit right there. She's gonna force her way into his place. Oh my god, she's not willing to listen. <laughs> if that happens, that's literal, literally the proof that she's doing this on her own free will and that she's living exactly like she wanted. Oh my god. Are we about to see a wild violet running? Oh my god, yeah. He said he mentioned the webs, he's not there. Come on, just let them meet, bro. I found him. So in the end, he still decided to help Violet despite what Mayer said. Now oh, the rain is beginning, guys. Here we go. He didn't hear that, probably. She said it so quietly. Oh, he definitely hears that. He's really not opening the door. That conversation that they're supposed to continue that he said. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he's feeling all of this, bro. That goes without saying. He's trying to tough this out. I'll wait. いいもの君に私は必要ない思い出してしまう幼い君を戦場に駆り出したこと君が私の命令を聞いて両腕を失って。いや、that <笑> yeah, makes sense. They're both clenching their fists. She's running away. Oh my god! Holy <laughs> shit, yeah. Quan Gins is like her father, bro, and he's basically saying, What the fuck are you doing, you idiot? Wow, that scream, bro. Can't believe what I'm witnessing in this movie, bro. This is the shit that I did not expect at all. And they're both. Blame each other so much, and they don't end up meeting after all. This is so fucking cruel to Violet. After everything that happened, they're still on the island. Yeah, I noticed they don't have anything like the stores or anything like that. But oh, they're in lighthouse. I mean, Violet. Yo, look at her face, man. It's like she lost all of her emotions again. I can't believe that he did that to her, man. Oh, 
星の剣には真っ赤なルビーが輝いていました。This is when she was le learning to read. It really pains me to see her like this, man. She did not deserve this. I still understand a little bit what Mayor is saying, but still, what the fuck, man? Just see her, bro. What about Yuris? Did he pass away? The promise? Oh no! She's no there, not there. Did he die? She wants to keep the promise. I meant to bring you from his ship. Violet, I haven't written yet for the mayor. Oh my god, Violet. What a beautiful character development. And her actually wanting to go back right now, even though she's so close to Mayor, indicates that perfectly. How much she, she has grown, and that will also let Mayor know that she is doing everything on her own free will. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they came! Wait! Are they coming? They're getting Eurysis letters. Yuris didn't die. Oh, it's not Violet. Oh, <laughs> He's so glad about that still, despite them making a pinky promise. Fork. This is so rough. I did not expect this development at all, man. I really didn't even figure out that they would connect these two events. That boy. That is Lucas, right? What are they trying to do? To let the boy in? Hi. To talk to him? Oh my god! <laughs> and this perfectly also ties into the... New technologies, the foods, right? You're able to directly speak to his body, bro. <laughs> Damn, man, this show, bro. And the fact that he was there, yeah, we saw him sneaking around the hospital, bro. We saw him through the window.
Yeah. Exactly. It's like he was literally waiting to write his best friend one last time, bro. But he didn't expect to hear him, surely. It's like he was saving energy just for that. So that he can pass away in peace. And Violet will feel super bad. Yep. For the pinky prompts. Yep, those simple words, man. They mean so much. Oh god, now the letters. And the kid is too young to even understand what that means, man. さかなつりもキャンプも楽しかったよ。僕、お父さんとお母さんも子供に生まれてきてよかった。大好き。お手紙が。僕。ごめんね。でも。<笑><笑> お前が生まれた時すっごく嬉しかった僕をお兄ちゃんにしてくれてありがとうわい bro 僕の分もたくさん why do you always do this to me bro それから僕の分もお父さんと愛甘えて僕の大切な弟へお兄ちゃんより Life can be so fucking cruel, bro. Yuris-kun,君が大切な人に会えたこと喜んでいた。になったらもう一度あいつのところへ行こう。出てこなかったらドアをぶち破って。I <laughs> was wondering if that would happen. She would respect what he said, eh? <laughs> then I will do it. They're really gonna do that. They're really gonna do that to me again. Just like in previous episode with Amy and Taylor not meeting. Interesting. And that's making him feel happy as well. And the fact, the sole fact that he's still alive, right? She's thankful about that. Now I'm looking forward to them tying this story to the girl from the beginning as well. In the future, right? We're using phones daily and the letters are no longer being used almost. It's funny how it was such a crazy thing to communicate with somebody so far away to hear their voice, right? And I feel like in this time period we are like reverting back to messages more often rather than calling and speaking to somebody, right? We have all these apps. <sighs> Gilbert made that? Wow, that's gonna be a game changer for them, bro. She'll be so proud. A letter for Mayor, eh? <laughs> 
There he is. The old man noticed that he is trying to help out the village. Because there is no, not many young men here. Help. All of us, does he know that he's from there? The old fox probably knows. He knows, of course. He's still... He's still willing to stay here, man. Wait a minute. Is it gonna be his brother right now? Yep, and not following in father's footsteps, eh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. If his brother is the one that changes his mind regarding Violet, that's gonna be such an awesome storytelling. Turns oh, out, turns out about the mother as well. Who would he have thought the guy who sold, gifted Violet to him, saying that she's a weapon, is now saying this? Now this is phenomenal. <laughs> What a moment, bro. Now, this is some big writing and character development right here, man. Well, she's still young. To be free. Here comes the letter delivered in the machine that he created. Here we go, guys. My last letter to you. あなたのおかげです。私を受け入れてくださり、文字やいろいろなことを教えてくださってありがとうございました。He's thanking him for everything he did for her. For giving me, I love you. And for giving her the name Violet as well. Right? Literally. All of this happened because she wanted to know, yeah. <laughs> Oof, I'm getting chills right now. I love this song. Yeah, when he turned his head, right? He's doing it again. Wow! You may be free now, he's doing that for his brother. He's stopping his rebellious phase. Go. For no way! Wow. Bro. 
what a development of his character, man. <laughs> they fucking are making fools out of us. They have... Oh my god, is he gonna wave at her? He can't get on that ship. Damn, this is gonna give me some vibes of the ending of the Digimon, man. <laughs> when they were waving each other. She didn't notice him. But okay. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's such a beautiful show, bro. This movie is so fucking amazing. <laughs> Look at Hodgkin's like a proud father, bro. <laughs> He's gonna jump in, bro, despite not having arms. Fuck it. <laughs> oh shit, bro, he will die. <laughs> I can't believe this still. Finally, they were able to face each other. Perfect soundtrack choice, man. <laughs> Here we go. A perfect happy ending, man. This is awesome. Come on. I love you too. <laughs> She's barely able to muster the birds. <laughs> She's still not able to do it. <laughs> I can't even imagine how this must feel for her, man. She's starting to hit herself, man. He's getting closer and closer. Finally, man. Finally. <sighs> what a perfect, perfect ending, bro. There goes the letter. Just like how it went outside at the very beginning of the first episode. That's what they're showing us. This is the scene, literally. It ends with the letter to Mayor, it ends with one. Nah, movie is absolutely necessary to conclude this amazing, amazing series. It's the full circle in such a satisfying way, man. With so much character growth. And not only violets. They're probably back in Leiden, right? Oh, they're gonna go watch her, uh, Erika's play, right? Nice. Her dream came true as well. Wait, who is that on the. I thought it might be like somebody that we know as well. It's four of them. Ah, she's so glad that they came to watch it, bro. <laughs> what is Benedict? Benedict saying to her. 
yeah, the beautiful fireworks. Is Tavro gonna lit up right? because of the fireworks? It's kind of... Oh... It's like a Christmas tree, look at that. I don't know how much Violet and Mare would enjoy these explosions, though. It might trigger the PTSD, bro. <laughs> But the era of war has passed. He's crying. The ending couldn't be any better, man, but it's still not over. Okay, some time has passed. It's snowing. Ah, of course. We started with this girl and we have to conclude it with her. Wait, she's traveling to the island. She's researching about its life because she's the one that wrote letters from her grand grandmother to her grandmother. Wait, that's why Claudia was crying because she moved here! Oh. Now it makes sense we got an answer to that, man. Why she quit after? She was 18, right? And of course, the people, probably all of them, know about Violet here. And look at how the place changed. They have like proper roads right now. Only sold on this island. この島は一人が年間に出す手紙の数が国内で一番多いんです。I <laughs> wonder why. 昔はドールが人気のドールがいたんですよ。The ribbon remains on that tree. Wow. Just like <laughs> that kid showed Violet, Curious. Kotobadeyenakutemo.手紙ならできる変えたい。伝えたいあの人は今この時にしかいないから。her parents, right? And they just received the letter from the delivery man. And she's probably gonna apologize to her mom for the harsh words, right? Mama, arigato. <laughs> that was perfect, man. That was perfect, bro. Oh my god. The post stamp with Violet's picture. Amazing, and I love that she's always carrying that umbrella with her. Wow, <sighs> movie, movie just elevated the series for me, man, even more. Oh, I guess there is a lot left, man, like 10 minutes almost, Se like seven and something. Oh, maybe it's for the after credits for the movies, they're usually pretty long, right. Let's see. It's only black screen though. Yeah, it's definitely over. Yeah, we definitely don't have anything, man. Wow. What a fantastic series that was, man. First. After episode 8 or 9, was it, right? When they showed how Mayor died, right? I was saying, like, I'm fine with this. If they conclude series like that, 
and then afterwards we got episode 10 that was fucking emotional as heck that ties into this movie as well and after that we have such a beautiful ending to the anime series and okay I judged anime and I said that it was a like fantastic series man like I had no complaints about it but now after witnessing this like special episode which was pretty fun but honestly movie is just on another level man and it completes the story from the anime mayor gilbert's brother and his development the fact that he is the one that came there after violet and hodgkins and told him about violet and to let his brother be free not to follow in his father's footsteps not to be like always with that military mindset, right? That he feels that he needs to do this, right? That he needs to stay absolutely on that island no matter what and to like suppress his emotions. He is now taking responsibility for it himself, right? And he's doing this for his younger bro and he always cared for him. He gave him that hat we saw that scene in the flashback, man. Even though he was a dick at the very beginning, he had amazing development and he always cared for his brother, man. And speaking of brothers, oh, the kid, Yuri, she destroys me. Of course, in my life, ever guarded, man. Not anyone received a happy ending, but not anyone in life get happy endings as well. And life is brutal most of the times, man. so... Yeah, that hurt my soul, man. Poor kid. For his parents and the little brother who still doesn't understand what that means man the fact that he was running to the bed to say to his brother to, that he's thankful man holy shit such a enjoyable series man i was very mad and i thought that they will do something similar to what they did to amy and tyler taylor not letting them meet. Uh, I will stop this. Like <laughs> I let the ending playing, so I'm sorry if that has been bothering for you, for you. I thought they might show like some after scene, after ending scene, but there is nothing. It's not like they're gonna continue this series. It was a perfect conclusion when they started running to each other, jumping into the water, bro. That also, also made me so, so happy, man, and like so fulfilled, man. We finally reached like the pinnacle of. Violet's character development, man, and she's now fully able to understand what I love you means and to tell that to somebody else, man. And the fact that she went there to live with him and became it, it became the place where the most letters are coming from, right? Because Violet has been such a popular doll, everyone wanted her service, and maybe. The village prospered because of that as well. We saw that it looks much better and the roads were built and all of that, man. So it's amazing. And they also tie uh, uh, granddaughter of the young girl from episode 10, right? Into this story and what letters can do to people, right? And how they can convey these true feelings. Right? And that despite having phones, right? writing a letter is still a very special way to let somebody know how you feel, man. And it was beautifully done as well with her traveling to the island and seeing the stamp with violent on it, having her bag, right, as always, doing her job at your service, at your request, no matter where you live, right? Out of memory dolls. Like, it's very rare to have such a completely fulfilling ending to the series, man. Holy shit, it's so good. Man. It's reminding me of Mob Psycho ending as well, man. Like, it's literally perfect. It covered literally everything, and the character development was reaching, like, the full full potential, right? Like... It couldn't get any better. I don't know how else to say it. Man. Amazing series, guys. I hope that you enjoy the reactions. Um, these shows are maybe not the best for, for reactions, man. Most of the time I'm just like 
watching, <laughs> smiling at how wholesome it is and like getting teary eyed, bro, and crying and stuff, man. But I'm glad that I've watched this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya.